All right, welcome back. We are back in Entrouted. We are here on the public resource world, and today I'm going to give you a tour of the completed Hollow Hall. Yes, I finished it. I don't know if you can believe it. I don't know that I can believe it, but I did finish it. And I'm going to walk you through today what we did. And why I say we, I did most of this on stream. So most of the finishing of it, I did all the top before, but we're going to go take a little tour. There's going to be timestamps because this probably won't be very short of like the areas in case you want to go back. Oh man, there was something cool in blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go back and look at that. So there'll be timestamps below. So you come into the foyer, we have these, you know, nice big doors. And then these don't actually do anything anymore. They're just uh, extra storage. That was where all the stuff was, but I now have it all in the basement like normal. There's everything else. It is not a perfect representation of the hollow hall because it's affecting FPS just like it does when you do any build. And the more I go, the more it's going to affect it, and the more it's going to be a problem. So you got the collector here. Fully functional. Do all the things. He's got his little shop. He's got uh, the ectoplasm press is available. There is a little secret area here. Because uh, he is a little necromancer. And so he's got a nasty little, I don't know what he's doing, experiments in here. But doing some dastardly things, I'm guessing. And there is a secret entrance to get upstairs. Actually, outside. That I don't even know if anybody knows about. Because I think that's kind of fun. And then, originally this was all the storage. I've moved it all. I just have some extra stuff for when I'm building. So all this is just superfluous. Then we have the big boy doors. Which are still taller than that. They go up two blocks or three blocks more. Because it's just, my god, those doors. Got a couple nooks. The reading nooks, my signature uh, side table with chairs built into it. That makes it look like it's one piece. You have the original garden area. Now, these are still here because I just moved them over to the basement so that people know, oh, I forgot where to get them. Well, they're still here just in case. They're duplicated over. We still have all this. And then we have what I have finished. So you no longer come in directly to stairs. Let's go ahead and shut this. Get out of our way. You don't come into stairs anymore. You come into a platform where the king, I guess, can address subjects down in the hollow hall, which is also completed. We'll go down there after a little bit. You've even got some uh, boulders came through the ceiling and smashed down. They, they have some effect down in the bottom. So we come over first, we have a banquet hall. So this is where the king and queen would uh, come in and entertain guests got their own little fireplace we've got uh, this jobby where I figured out on stream how to do that you put the regular torch wall torch up there and move this over and it looks like his eyes are flaming it's awesome then full kitchen Used Ketmall's design with the side cabinets to use as dishes. Built a very cool uh, hood for the ovens. They're not really ovens, but... Well, actually, these are ovens. This isn't. And then this just looks like it would be for kneading bread and making dough out of it to put into the, quote, bread oven. You got uh, storage for all of your important stuff, your wines, your meads, because you can't have the regular peasant folk coming and getting access to it and drinking it. Secret uh, well. Then we'll go from here into the waiting room for the king's office. So when folks have some reason to visit the king, and there's a balcony, 
You can see the damage the rocks did when they came down. Hit the bridge. Punched through the floor. We had to put a, a grate to cover it, keep people from falling in. And we get into the king's office. King's office is a little Spartan. I didn't go crazy on the decoration. Then we get to the king and queen's chamber. I am very pleased with this. This ended up absolutely smashingly well. It looks warm and cozy and inviting. They've got a furry rug way too close to a fire, but you know, reasons. We have angled pictures. That was a huge pain to do. Had to use the tusk of one of the heads to angle them. We have a full bathroom for the king and queen. Double showers, floor drains, his and her sink. You got all your supplies. We don't have things like toilet paper or, oh, the, the cloth. If we could place the cloth that we go and pick up on the world, you could do it there and it would look like you had towels. But we can't do that kind of thing. And there's a secret, of course. We gotta go to the inner chamber. Figure this would be like where the king and queen you have their their actual armor and then their royal set of clothing. And this is their little stash. And then over here you have the uh, crown jewels. I just grabbed all the expensive ones and put them down here. And the queen has herself an enchanted glade. I had trees in here originally, and that didn't work at all. They went up all the way through that ceiling, all the way into the king's and queen's quarters above about six or eight feet. Yeah, it was it was bad. But this turned out all right. I, th I think it works pretty well with the plants. I like how some of them are encroaching over the other ones and just kind of making it look... And where I cut the trees down, I left some of the stuff on the ground just as, uh, I don't know, just more stuff. I like how the, it's kind of looks like it, it's a little pond of it. It's growing up through there and coming through the ceiling. We tried the green goo to be like, like a crystal hanging from the ceiling and I'd wrap that around it because by itself it looked really bare, really plain. But with everything around it, I think it looks pretty good. These files, by the way, are already posted and they will be linked down in the description and on the pinned comment. So let's go over here to the more pedestrian side. This is where the workers and everything live. So you have a training grounds right here. So more ranged on this side, more melee on that side. They have their own locker room, bathroom type of job. Bathroom stalls. They have lockers. I thought that turned out pretty neat, especially with the way the block hugs it. I think it looked really nice. Communal showers. I don't have floor drains. I did mess that up. I should have put floor drains. But you can't get everything right. These guys also have a balcony. Same type, so can look out from either side and see the hollow hall. Then you have the mead hall. Very pleased with this indeed. I think it works very well. Bunch of different ways to sit. I love how the quote bar stools came out. Or just the end tables. This is supposed to be like a grill for meat, and that would be like the meat that they're getting ready. It's just the forge, so the anvil's over there in that, that wall a little bit. And then this jobby is the tanning station with the table saw. So the idea is you can rotate the hang handle, which rotates the drum of the keg, 
or that's what pours this or whatever and you and it pours from the thing that's above my head into the cups and then you can just service your customers here's your menu you know you gotta have a menu at a bar I think it turned out very nice indeed now we'll hop down to the barracks we've got uh, foot lockers just buried them in the ground halfway got a like a his and a her captain of the guard so to speak just two captains of the guard maybe nothing fancy with the barracks you know they're they're uh, communal for sure we'll come over here to the prison or the jail I should say not really prison that would be much more expensive extensive if it was a prison so we got one dude in there and he seems to have expired in there we got an open cell for whoever uh, I don't know you try to make some moves on the Queen or something so I put this guy in here this is the ectoplasm press and I put it in as if you turn this wheel that opens the gates and then this thing switches which of the gates it's opening I thought that was a pretty neat little idea we come here to a storage area that worked out well now I'm going to show you this before we go downstairs so this is the bridge it is what used to go that direction but I did have I did take out that flame altar uh, it was too confusing having two of them so now you just have this big old it used to be something now it's nothing and it kind of looks like it was a cave-in and you'll see more when we go downstairs but before we get there I want to show you this so this is the connection to the basement and because we have the hanging brazier sitting through the floor upstairs where you have the planter garden I had to have I had to find some way to make that happen to make it look like there was a reason for them there so I made it a cave-in you got this big old rock that went through there it came through this whole wall over here and destroyed the wall so for the guys to get through they just did a temporary thing around this you know there's another boulder a couple more boulders it just it looks the part like a big old damaged thing and then this goes over here there's your armory and there's your basement so it's a pretty cool way to attach them together underground used uh, one of the shelves there to kind of look like it's be I wish we could angle it but kind of look like it's a piece of wood now if we go down and you wouldn't believe this if you didn't see me do this live on stream it comes to that door perfectly I did not plan that I was just like okay now we gotta get far enough we'll dig down so we come down here and this just happened to come down perfectly to that I don't know how the hell I did it but I just did it so this still works and you just get right by it and you come in here so there's our crash and it went all the way down and there's our oubliette down there you can see it goes way way down it did a whole bunch of damage there's still some rocks here kind of messed up some of the coffins because this was a graveyard down here blew through that column a little bit messed up that column that's as far right there as I could get it to angle I was trying I wanted to have it almost in the pit but I couldn't get it angled any further than that over on this side you have a singular tomb I guess is what it would be called so like maybe this do is one of the originals the original Kings or something of the hollow hall I thought this was a nice touch I used the prison fence the single thing to look like it's holding this sarcophagus up oh that looks really neat not super super pleased with how these little guys turned out but it gives an idea of what's there it, it makes some sense of it you can see the scale of just how ridiculous this is and if I get up here you can even hear oh. yeah you hear, hear the music change because it's basically getting into the shroud area and I tried a little bit of the green so you know how in the hollow hall 
They have the green mixed with the bones. And, of course, we can't put the bones down unless you have the Builder's Companion. So I tried that, and it actually turned out pretty okay. You can see it from the top, and it looks all right. You know, shove this thing over. We got a cave in in this side. The idea was you had four sides that you could do something. What something doesn't matter what something, just something. And over the millennia or whatever, this one caved in. So it's all jank and messed up. I think that turned out great. Popped a bunch of these things over. Again, these you can't angle them very much. It just doesn't work. And then this guy is just closed. You can't get in there. It's just a dark space in there. Kind of did that on purpose. Probably should have put a couple of those prison things to hold this up. And then while they probably wouldn't have worshipped the same dudes that VUCA do, I figured some kind of a statue there kind of looked appropriate. And you can get up through there or you can get up this way. Like that. And you can get up right over here. Just like that. It's a long time coming. It was a lot of work. Had a lot of fun doing it. Got the ceiling done. It it, it turned out really nicely. And that's how it looks like from there. It's a really cool look inside. All right. I appreciate everybody watching. Like I said, I'll have the links to the files uh, down below. And have a good evening.